Humankind may be fascinated by the nature around it, but it has always looked to the heavens in a different kind of wonder. Knowing what lies beyond our reach has always been an intriguing question for us. The universe is vast and the possibilities are just as endless as it. It is no surprise then that scientists have spent years trying to research the cosmos, and one of their more recent inventions, the James Webb Telescope, recently shed light on how our universe looks like. In this video, we will compare the recent pictures to what the Hubble originally took. Number 1. Pillars of Creation Infrared light alters the appearance of objects. Consider the Pillars of Creation, a star-forming region within the Eagle Nebula. Hubble photographed them in visible light as well as a small slice of infrared radiation. The dust and gas inside the pillars are opaque in visible light. But in infrared, much of the material dissolves, revealing warm infant stars within. This skill is especially valuable for researching exoplanets. One method for studying exoplanets is to watch them transit in front of their host stars. The composition of an exoplanet's atmosphere can be revealed by changes in starlight during these transits. These alterations are especially visible in infrared light. The Hubble Space Telescope captured infrared and visible light photographs of the Monkey Head Nebula, a star-forming area on the left. A material jet from a newly forming star can be seen in one of the pillars, just above and to the left of the center in the right-hand image. In the infrared image, several galaxies may be seen, considerably further away than the columns of dust and gas. Number 2. Southern Ring Nebula NGC 3132, also known as Southern Ring Nebula, is an expanding cloud of gas emitted by a dead star located around 2,500 light-years from Earth. The brilliant star in the middle appears to be the culprit, but it isn't. That honor goes to the much fainter star directly next to it. The southern ring, as viewed by Hubble in a 1998 photograph, is seen on the left. The James Webb image on the right has a noticeable increase in resolution, bringing the cloud's intricacies into great focus, and revealing that the dimmer star is in fact covered in its own cloud of dust. This remarkable resolution is due to JWB's far larger light-collecting mirror, which is approximately 100 times more sensitive than Hubble. Because of JWST's sensitivity to far longer wavelengths, it can see through dust clouds that would typically cover stars, planetary systems, and distant galaxies from Hubble's probing eyes. This indicates that JWST is sufficiently sensitive that it can reveal the composition of the atmospheres of distant exoplanets. It is due to the exposure and ISO levels that the JWST is able to work with, that it has been able to produce such stunning, detailed pictures of our universe. Number 3. Carina Nebula The image on the right of a stellar nursery in the Carina Nebula, roughly 7,600 light-years away, shows enormous baby stars encased in swirling gas and dust. The youngest stars appear as crimson pinpricks of light in the cloud. This image was captured by JWST's Near Cam, which allowed it to capture previously concealed details within and beyond the occluding dust. High energy ultraviolet radiation, the same type of light that produces sunburns, and stellar winds from hot young stars destroyed part of the surrounding material forming the cosmic cliffs. What looks to be white steam emerging from the cliffs is actually heated dust and ionized gas streaming away as the UV radiation reacts with the nebula. There is an enormous difference in the level of detail in both pictures. For example, Hubble's picture has significantly less depth than the one the James Webb Telescope has taken, and it shows how much more vast the newer picture makes the nebula look. There is a very noticeable difference in the amount of color that both pictures are able to paint, with the James Webb being able to capture more wavelengths of light. Infrared light being captured has allowed man to see much more of the universe than before. Number 4. Stephen's Quintet This image obtained by JWST thus far is of a galaxy cluster known as Stephen's Quintet named after the man who discovered it in 1877 using a much smaller ground-based telescope. 
Only four of the alleged quintet of galaxies are actually close enough to interact gravitationally with one another. The final fifth galaxy on the left is approximately 250 million light years closer to Earth. Immediately, you can see a huge difference in how crisp both pictures look. The James Webb Telescope's picture is much sharper, with a noticeably higher level of detail and pixel density. This image combines near and mid-infrared light. Webb's strong infrared vision and exceptionally high spatial resolution reveal previously unseen elements in this galaxy group. The image is adorned with sparkling cluster of millions of newborn stars and starburst regions of new star birth. Gravitational interactions are pulling sweeping tails of gas, dust, and stars from many galaxies. Webb captures massive shockwaves when one of the galaxies, NGC 7318b, smashes into the cluster. This massive mosaic, which covers roughly one-fifth of the moon's diameter, is Webb's largest image till date. It has about 150 million pixels and is made up of nearly 1,000 different image files. Webb's findings shed new light on how galactic interactions may have influenced galaxy evolution in the early cosmos. Webb studied the active galactic nucleus in great detail with the near-infrared spectrograph NIR spec, and mid-infrared instrument MIRI. These instruments, integral field units IFUs, which are a combination of a camera and spectrograph, provided the Webb team with a data cube or collection of images of the galactic core's spectral features. The IFU, similar to medical magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, allows scientists to slice and dice the information into multiple images for further analysis. Webb peered through the dust shroud surrounding the nucleus, revealing hot gas near the active black hole and measuring the velocity of brilliant outflows. The telescope observed these outflows caused by the black hole in unprecedented detail. Number 5. SMAX 0723 NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has produced the most detailed and sharp infrared image of the distant universe to date. Webb's first deep field is galaxy cluster SMAX 0723 which contains hundreds of galaxies, including the faintest infrared objects ever detected. The new image provided an unprecedented view of deep space and was a significant advance above similar photographs captured by its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope. It was captured using near-infrared sensors, which catch a different spectrum than a standard camera. So the James Webb Telescope is faster than Hubble and produces better findings. Hubble requires weeks to scan its image of deep space, whereas JWST did so in 12 hours and 30 minutes. Webb's NearCam has brought distant galaxies into sharp focus. They have tiny, faint structures that have never been seen before, including star clusters and diffuse features. Webb's image is about the size of a grain of sand held at an arm's length, a speck of the vastness of the cosmos. This galaxy cluster's combined mass works as a gravitational lens, magnifying more distant galaxies, including some observed when the universe was only a billion years old. This deep field captured by Webb's near-infrared camera, NearCam, is a composite of photos obtained at multiple wavelengths over the course of 12.5 hours. Achieving depths in this infrared beyond the Hubble Space Telescope's deepest fields, which require weeks. And this is just the start. Webb will be used by researchers to take long exposures, revealing more of our enormous universe. That will be all for this week. Thank you for watching all the way until the end. All of us love the pursuit of science and space, so if you have any opinions or questions about these pictures, comment down below and we will try to get to them. Until next time!